that sounds. I'll be waiting for you. You will have such a lovely day. Who is there? No one, just a friend. Thank you. Good day. A black singer with the daughter of a Marquis in a North Yorkshire town? Why should we attract any attention? Well, that's their problem. It doesn't have to be ours. I'm terribly puffed that you made the journey. Me too, but... Uh, but what? I hope we're brave enough for this. Of course we are. Isn't it time people knew that there are bigger and better values than the mean-spirited ones they live by? Does Lady Grantham know you're out for the day? I'll telephone, but it won't matter as long as I'm back for dinner. Are you playing tonight? I wouldn't be here if I were. So I can stay for as long as you want. Well, I want you to stay forever. At six o'clock, we'll do. Can I have a word? I've seen something, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong about it, but I'd feel uncomfortable if I kept it to myself. I'm all ears. This morning in Thursk, I saw Rose. Yes. She was shopping. No, she was not shopping. She was meeting a man. I saw her as she reached up to stroke his cheek. Oh, golly. Who is it this time? It was Jack Ross, the singer with the band who came up for your father's party. Well, that's it. I've told you and I've nothing more to add. Rose, darling, can I drag you into my room for a moment? Anna, could you leave us for a minute? Of course. This is early for you to go to bed. I had a rather a tiring day. So I heard. Well, I heard you had an interesting day. Whether or not it was tiring, you know better than I. Who told you? My dear, all I want is for you not to lose control of your life. I love him. And I, I won't listen to any imperialist nonsense about racial purity and how he should be horsewhipped for daring to dream. Don't you know me better than that? I'm going to marry him, Mary. And I don't care what it costs, and I won't keep it a secret, not once I've told Mummy. I want to see her face crumble when she finds out. <laughs>